ஹலோ ஒருவன் திஸ் இஸ் பிரசாந்த் வெல்கம் டு ஐ சேனல் ஸோ இன் லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் வீஸ் அபவுட் த வேரியபிள்ஸ் டேட்டா டைப்ஸ் அண்ட் பேசிக் ஆப்ரேஷன்ஸ் ரைட் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி த நெக்ஸ்ட் டாபிக் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் ஸோ பி கிளியர் ஃபங்க்ஷன் இஸ் அ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டாபிக் இன் எவ்ரி டே வித் அவுட் ஃபங்க்ஷன் வி கேன் ஆட் கிரியேட் எனி ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் வாட் இஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் வென் அ குரூப் ஆஃப் கோட் டு வாண்ட் டு எக்ஸிக்யூட் அ ஒன் காமன் ஃபங்க்ஷனாலிட்டி லைக் ஆக்ஷன் மீன்ஸ் தட்ஸ் கால் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஓகே லெட்ஸ் டேரக்ட்லி கோ டு த கோடிங் so i am going to create a file name called functions.py okay so what is the syntax is we want to give a diff keyword and after that a function name with a circular bracket with a colon ending okay so this is a simple function okay then i am going to in this i am going to print hello everyone okay i am going to save this then i'm going to open a terminal i mean command prompt in this i'm going to write python what is the function name function dot py so it's a spelling error see this it didn't print anything why simple because we didn't call the method so how to call the method so you want to go to you want to call the method see this i saved it if i write right now see this hello everyone so so if we create a function it won't run we want to call the function this is a simple function okay next i am going to teach you the parameter based function parameter okay. what is parameter function is in this it's a empty so how many times i call this will print the same text again and again so i am going to pass some parameters parameters and some variables either integer list uh, or string okay so i am going to create a def like do addition operation so addition i am going to pass two things a comma b so this is a function that has two parameters a is one variable b is one variable in this i am going to do the addition add 1 equal to a plus b then i am going to print the which value the addition value okay so i'm going to print addition then what we need to do go to next we need to call the method so last time i call simply i didn't pass anything but this time i have two variables but i want two string a two number so right now i'm going to pass 5 7 2 two numbers so 5 going to place in the a 7 going to place in the b okay so now we will see the result okay see this 5 plus 7 12 so if i call again this time i with a different number so this time with 10 means see this first first, first time calling it's a 12 second time calling it's 15 so this called parameter function okay suppose here we going next one we are going to see the return type functions what is return type means so this time i printed the a addition one after that this function i don't know the value suppose i this actions need to return something means how to return so this call return based function return functions see this i'm going to give def this is a let's call multiplication i'm going to do that multiplication in this i'm going to a b two numbers i want to multiply so i want to return so for that we need to is a return keyword so how to return a value we want to return okay i'm going to put a into b so here i will, i missed the colon so that's why it's wrong error see this so suppose it's returning means i want to catch that i want to store that means i want to create a value like value equal to and when i calling this method 5 into 3 5 comma 3 i want to pass so if i do the 5 comma 3 the 5 comma 5 will go to a 3 will go to b and it will do the multiplication then it will return a value that returning value will store in value so it will return this multi this method will return a value the value is the some some numbers so i'm going to print the value which which is going to come right now okay i'm going to run this method see this 15 okay 
so this is the written based so what you want to learn you want to know the written keyword so any actions you are doing you want to return okay this is the return based function so these are the basic functions like uh, normal function parameter function uh, multi like return function okay next sometimes we need to give a default value so even customer is sending or not i want to see one default value default value okay for the time want to get dev okay name uh, or user user name so in this i am going to get a name okay so i want to print so whenever anyone sending the name i want to print that name okay so in i am going to call this method in the method i am going to give a ram okay so whenever i am ram is goes it will print the name error so the name is a we even we don't know this it's my mad see this ram suppose the customer didn't give anything means this method won't execute okay if i didn't i forgot to give the name or the user didn't give a input means what it will print it will print an error because name is empty the name doesn't have any value so for that i am going to give a value equal to so let to priya okay so if customer is giving wrong means i will print the wrong suppose customer the user didn't provide the input i don't fail i will give a priya the because that is a default name so default value for function parameter okay cool right so this is the use of default because in projects what will happen we need to keep a default names if anyone not giving the input means we don't want to make a exception at least we want to give some response like default message like otherwise priya no name it's cool right this is the default functions then next one we are going to see the module function so module is like the, the uh, what uh, like inbuilt model user based model suppose i am having the one file this is mod.py okay in the mod i have one function take an example okay dev show print hi okay so how to get this method here in functions means before that we want to we want to do we want to import so we want to import okay import whom we want to import mod okay so right now so i want to call the method what is the method name it's show simply what i want to do mod dot show okay so if i run this means see this i have on predefined methods is a common methods okay so but wherever i need first of all i want to import that file from the file i want to call the method so this is the mod it is the externally we are giving so what the inbuilt methods are like python has some inbuilt methods like suppose import math so math has some functions like mathematical functions it has all the libraries this is inbuilt this is one is inbuilt it has, it was in the python itself okay suppose i want to do the division def division okay in this i am going to give a comma b so i want to give math dot suppose i want to find the some some math function so math has all the function like see this sin cos ceiling expressions there are so many functions available in the math like square root of that one suppose i'm giving one a okay i want to find the square root means of a okay then i want to print this value in the math i want to print this cool right so i'm going to call this method like div of phi so what is square root of phi it is this is the square root of phi so if i give a 4 means what is square root of 4 it's 2 right see this 
point zero. So this is math function. This math function is where it's coming, and this is inbuilt one. This mod is we creating based upon our our project requirement. Okay? Suppose in our project some methods are we need based upon our application means. So we create in one file, then we can use that file. It's a inbuilt module. Okay, like like externally we creating this math is a inbuilt module. Okay, so I will paste this code as well. in the uh, uh, yesterday's document so if you want to know that documents then please look into that one but function is very important tomorrow we are going to see the next topic in the python itself like class objects okay and if you like the video please subscribe and share to your friends thanks for watching